who grew up in poverty in the Amazon jungle reclaim the one championship world bantamweight strap. He's prepared. He's focused. He says yes. champion makes his return to Japan, a return to the place where he made his name in dreams, raised in the Amazon jungle, how he's come from the poor of the poor, to enjoy the riches of the martial arts world, is one of the most amazing rags to riches stories in all of sport, here he is once again, looking to reclaim a crown that he believes he did not lose last time. And he wants to make surgery. He finishes. Telling you tonight. Viviano Fernandez went on an incredible 14-bout winning streak from September of 2011 all the way until November of 2018. He had 10 title bouts in that time frame. Nine title bout wins. We're going to go to the global rules set on this one. Five five-minute rounds. Bout judged in its entirety. Not round by round. No kicks to the head of a grounded opponent, no spiking or suplexing on the head, neck, or spine. Viviano Fernandez is not just a BJJ world champion. He has good hands, man. He puts hands on people. He mixes in his boxing with his takedowns incredibly well. This is his opportunity to, to redeem himself because he feels he didn't lose that match against Kevin Bellagon. The surprise look on his face when Bellagon had his hands raised was just of utter shock and disbelief. And now it is Bibiano's opportunity to reclaim his Bantamweight world title and prove he is one of the best Bantamweights in the world. Not the one of the best, the best Bantamweight on the planet, Michael Cervello. Bibiano Fernandez with another dream former star in his corner, Black Mamba Kulta Hill, right to say Kulta. This is the moment Bibiano's been waiting for. Can he reclaim the Bantamweight strap? It's the first time ever Kevin Bellignon has made the walk of champions as the champion. From the fabled Team Lakai, high in the mountains of Baguio City in the Philippines. The most successful gym at one championship. They dominated 2018. They haven't had a great start to 2019. Can Bellignon steer the ship straight, defend the title and take the gold? Back to that big mantelpiece at Team Lakai in Baguio City. shots. He's got 
devastating knockout power in both hands. And that kick, he kicks people farther than you can kick a football, Michael Cervello. It is so impressive to watch Kevin Bellingham improve. And Team Lakai is renowned for their ability to figure out opponents in the rematch. They always get better in every single rematch. They find a way to win. But how will they find a way in a trilogy match when it's one of the, against the greatest Bantamweights one championship has ever seen in Viviano Fernandez. What makes Kevin Bellingham so hard to deal with is he's so unconventional. His escapes from very bad positions are pure explosion. Two-time, one Bantamweight world champion. Most finishes in one Bantamweight history. And he is currently riding a seven-bout win streak. And one of those bouts was against the man that is staring across from him in the cage right now. The man with the mightiest mullet in the martial arts world prepares to defend the Bantamweight crown for the first time ever. Kevin Belling over the Philippines. It's a one championship mixed martial arts rules contest, sit for five by five. It's the Philippines versus Brazil. Sander of Bellignon, Jiu Jitsu of Bibiano. Bibiano the taller, Bibiano the elder. Here's Dom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co main event of the evening. It is five rounds of five minutes for the one and to play. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he stands at 170 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 22 wins and 4 losses. Training out of AMC Penetration, representing Brazil! Put your hands together for your challenger, the former one World Champion, Bibiano the Flash Fernandez. And now, introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he stands at 165 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 20 wins and 5 losses. Training out of Team Lakai. Representing the Philippines. Put your hands together for the reigning and defending one bantamweight world champion, Kevin the Silencer. Hi guys, watch out for Hitbot, Logo, I'm going to get in five rounds. I would agree a fair fight that's going to all and Bellion. A stare down between Bellion and Fernandez for a third time they meet in the cage. The Bantamweight world title in the line, set for five rounds of action. The former champion, Judge, you know Fernandez. Ready? Ready? The defending champion, Two. Kevin Bellion. Let's see if Bellagon can go to the body of Fernandez as he did last time out. Because this is that wonderful spinning back kick for the liver section. Bibiano's striking, always slick, always fast, but on the ground is where he is a wizard. Bibiano, comes early for a single leg. Can he get Bellagon down? Jab there from Bellinger. 
on. They'll use that jab as a range find. Up forward in the face of the opponents. Then thread the right hand behind it. Outside leg kick for the champion. That's two leg kicks that have landed on the lower part of Bibiano's leg. You gotta wonder how that's gonna affect his movement because Bibiano has good boxing. Fernandez. He spins like a top. Does Kevin Bellignon you hit that liver? You hit that Vegas nerve. It can close down the entire body. <laughs> Outside leg kick from the champion. Little angle there from Fernandez, the challenger. Leg from Bellignon. He's finding early success with those hands. That leg kick is also setting up a lot of these punches that are connecting right now. Bibiano told me, he's like, you guys made too big a deal about those body kicks. None of those body kicks ever hurt me. Okay, that bit, that beautiful spinning back kick, they just landed. Looks like it could have did a little bit of pain. Bibiano Fernandez was a two-division dream world champion. Competing here in Japan. Stumbled, worried, in 
the opening round. Hernandez will be losing with confidence out of every pore, the former world's champion. This match was touted as striker versus grappler, but to get it twisted, Bibiano Fernandez is much more than just a grappler. And that right hand just let everybody know it. Hernandez was so delighted to return to Tokyo. Still a massive fan base here for Bibi. They've been in the lobby of the hotel all week, greeting him, taking him out on the town for lunches, healthy lunches that he eats every day, autograph signings, photo opportunities. Early in the morning to late in the evening. Nice step across inside, thanking there from Bellingon. I've also seen a different mindset come up from Bibiano. He's philosophical in his analysis of Kevin Bellagon. You guys got deep into it in your conversation. He's a philosopher as much as he is a martial artist, Bibiano Fernandez. That said, Mitch, though we score an overall contest here at one championship, who would you have ahead so far? Oh, man, the first seven minutes of this match. I would say the first couple of minutes with Kevin Bellagon, he was able to find some home, kind of landing that leg kick, but then that right hand was a game changer. Wobbled Kevin Bellagon, put him on his back, but Bibiano got on top and wasn't able to do anything from there. Allowed Kevin to get back into the match. There's that leg kick again. That leg kick from Bellagon is a beauty. Gonna start checking those, just Bibiano Fernandez. Did improvement here from both men. Second round, 10 remaining. Fernandez thought about going the inside five. Big overhand right. Did it miss the oh, did it hit the target? And those leg kicks are going after the lower part of Bibiano's leg. You can train for leg kicks. You can condition your shins. You can strengthen your thighs, kind of deaden those nerves. But that lower part of the leg, that outside calf, you can't train for that. There's a beautiful spinning back kick. Nice jump turning back kick again, digging into the midsection, belly button through the back of Fernandez. There's the kick to right hand for the champion, Bellignon. And another overhand right from Bellignon. Trust out the straight right down the center corridor. Some better signs now from the champion, Bellignon. Maybe starting to find his rhythm. Maybe starting to set that metronome. Fernandez's corner is saying forward pressure. Come on, Bibi, apply the pressure. Move forward. Back to Kano. Giving instructions from the corner. Look at here. Look at your voice. Mark Sanjal, the corner. And team the guys, Kevin Bellinger. He has got to be careful overextending when he throws that right hand. Tremendous racks, Richie Story. Bibiano Fernandez. Raised in the Amazon jungle. Sold by his aunt, forced to fuss it and fetch water from the local river, cut his own food, suffered malaria twice, was lucky not to die from malaria. Amazing, that's the richest story. Wild overhand right again there from the former world's champion. Turning back kick, that one went to the liver of Viviano. I see Viviano start sidestepping that spinning back kick, but it comes so fast from Kevin. Bellingon. He tries to catch you mid-move, sidestepping that spinning back kick, but it comes so fast from Kevin Bellingon. He tries to catch you mid-move, so he sees you trying to initiate. It's usually like a punch that you're throwing, and then he calculates that in his mind so fast, and he counters with that spinning back kick. That's why it's hard for Bibiano to step out of the way of it. Most of the team, the guy, athletes come from a Wushu striking background. Bellingon has really made the spinning back kick to throw the cut and sound kick. You'll see it from Edward Falayan later on in the night in our main event. Top position here for Bibi Fernandez. Under a minute remaining in the second round of five. Fernandez a half guard. Can he pass and go to the side control position? I like how he got that takedown. He was able to scoop up the single leg and then he was able to drive into it and he never let that leg touch the ground again. So Kevin was constantly off balance. And now he's back into half guard. Kevin's doing a good job of controlling the posture of Viviano position so Bibiano is not able to posture up you can see him trying to do it right there Bibiano gets a little bit of space but Kevin again see how he gets that body lock keeps him nice and tight to his body he's got an overhook and an underhook on each side so it's hard for him to go anywhere last time Bibiano competed in dream was it's in good. dream 18 one by a triangle choke over Yoshua Maida 
was a New Year's Eve special back in 2012. Hi. Here he is again, returning to Tokyo, Japan. Bibiana Fernandez, Kevin Bellignon. Another round down for the Bantamweight World title. Sexy armor sighting here at the Rio Goku Koku Giga. Be still, our palpitating heart. He is a toy in a fashion. Ninja a bit more fashionable than you. Let's take a look at the fastball spinning back hit thrown by Kevin Belling on. Look at this. Viviano's like frozen, waiting for it. And look at that beautiful placement right into the solar plexus of the former champ. Kevin Bellingon's looking sharper in that round. He was able to find some holes in the guard, land some strikes. But again, that spinning back kick, I like how he's utilizing that leg kick as well. It's slowing Viviano down just a hair, just enough for him to set up these big shots. A very dominant first round from Viviano. Second round, starting to shift a little bit for the champion. Sold out inside the Rio Goku Koku Gigan in Tokyo, Japan. It's history in the making, the first time ever. Two. The one championship on Japanese soil. You go back through history of Fernandez, his time at Dream, a two division champion, and the names that he beat back then Nari, Joe Warren, Nicky Hansen, Rodolfo Marquez, Antonio Banuelas. So many great names that Bibiano took care of back in the day. Swinging again here, Bibi. Cuts off the movement of the champion. Balignon, eight years younger than Fernandez, has never lost by knockout or TKO through 25 bouts in an 11 plus year career. 40 knockouts of his own, three submissions and nine decisions. For the world bantamweight champion. Let's counter up with Cup for the champion there. Outside leg kick from Fernandez. Has had a decent record on the road outside of the Philippines, Balignon, going nine and three. Time here for Viviano Fernandez, our doctor straight in to check out the former world champion. Yeah, yeah, clean, clean, too clean. Elbow to the back of the head, it was on Viviano Fernandez, an illegal strike. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure, sure. Viviano is allowed Can five I? minutes or a full round for medical examination and recovery. If he's unable to continue, a decision will be given. Let's take a look at some of that, where that came from. You can see Kevin trying to posture up. Yeah, and that was a clean elbow right to the back of the head of Bibiano. And that can really disrupt your equilibrium. Not only does it hurt, but it just, it kind of dis, like it, 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 it interrupts your balance. You just can't quite get a, get a handle on things the way that it rocks you. So just to clarify, folks, a decision will only be given if we are past the halfway mark of this bout, which we are not. We have 3 minutes 41 remaining in the third round of five. There's a yellow card there you see for Kevin Bellingham. What does that mean, Mitch? That means a, a significant amount of huh? money will be 10%, I do believe, will be taken from... Kevin Bellingham's paycheck and given to Bibiano. If Bibiano is unable to continue, it will be called a no contest. He has up to five minutes to recover at the duration of one round to do so. But when it comes to elbows to the back of the head, it just rocks you. Kevin Bellingham. Now moving towards deep water here if it continues. Bellingham's gone very well in decisions over the years. Went the distance Kevin, 11 Kevin, times Kevin, in the cage, 9 and 2 in decisions in that 11 plus year career for the champion. Philippines national wushu champion, you've seen some of the wushu striking tonight from Balagon. You'll see more in our main event from Edward Falaya. But you won't see the jump to him back kicks from Falaya, you'll more likely see the cutting side kicks against Shinya Aoki. Meanwhile, Bibiano Fernandez still in the hands of the doctors here. Let's take another look at this illegal strike that has earned Bellingham a yellow card. 
see Bibiano's there in half guard. His head is down, elbow nice and tight, right there to the back of the head. That was two unanswered elbows to the back of the head of Bibiano. Bibiano, he seems to be shaking his head. I think he's trying to tell Doc Warren that he's okay and he wants to continue. He just wants to utilize the full duration of this round to make sure he is okay. Fernandez, the most title belts, the most title belt wins and title defenses in that one was, history. That was, I'm very sorry with that. Okay, that was, you could see the time here for Viviano Fernandez right. to take. He's allowed the full five minutes, of course. 14th bout winning streak Fernandez wins on from September 2011 till November 2018. It was one of the greatest streaks in one championship history. In fact, the whole of the mixed martial arts world. Tell you what, though, you ever want to sit down with someone for a lunch or a cup of coffee? Bibiano Fernandez, a philosopher, and the stories he tells, which about growing up in the Amazon jungle with his aunt when his father deserted him, left the family at a young age, forced to fend for himself in the wilds of the jungle, draw water from rivers and hunt animals, and basically build his own his own house out of sticks and tarpaulin and whatever else he could find, and surviving malaria twice as a kid. It's amazing. Incredible story, and he was really an inspiration to every single athlete. You think you've gone through a hard time. Just imagine what Viviano's been through in his lifetime, and right now, He's trying to recover from some serious shots by the champ. After living in the jungle, he went back to town and he was washing cars to make a few oh, moments here and yes, there. Yes. And he was washing cars outside of a okay, dojo guys, where they were teaching please, BJJ. Please. And he liked what he saw so much. He was a young kid hanging around the place. And the instructor eventually said to him, well, we know what, come in and train for a bit and see if like it. That's how the legend of Bibi Fernandez started. It looks like they've allowed Kevin to come over and talk to Bibiano, which is not a good sign for the continuation of this match. Bibiano looks visibly upset. Well, this would be a terrible way for Bibi to have his homecoming party ended. Now, it might be a disqualification. Referee Olivier Coles digging into his pocket. It is a disqualification for Kevin Bellingham in this world title bout, and it's Viviano Fernandez. 